Hello everybody, my name is kevguy 37 a and welcome back to my hard hat wings. We are sitting down in the Windmill Hill Garden Plaza thingy and about to eat lunch. Ooh, what are we gonna have? Time is now 12.30. No, it isn't. Oh, wait. Never mind, don't, don't mind me. Exactly the time for lunch break. We spread out the lunch boxes that we brought and the juice and snacks we bought from the convenience store. We don't have a sheep, but it feels like we're having a picnic. I made both mine and Katori's lunch boxes while Aga had brought her own. I, I don't get to say itadakimasu. Oh, Habane-san, Habagda! Oh no! A big burger for a little spring roll. What the? No, don't do that. Agaha wolf's daddy burger that she got by trading. She looks like she's enjoying it. <laughs> Your mom's good at cooking, though, isn't she? <laughs> career housewife? I don't know you make money by being a housewife as a career. Huh. Katori's face seemed to say that she wasn't really suited to the situation as she quietly ate her lunch. However, she didn't look as irritated as she was before. Maybe she's, you know, coming along. Maybe she's getting comfortable. That'd be great. Aga either hadn't noticed or was pretending not to have noticed and carried on behaving the same way she always does. <laughs> Really? Wow. You're not getting that perfect attendance award. No, no, no. Injection? What injection? Did Aka playfully? She seems quite excited about skipping school for the first time. Wait, wait, no, we didn't go back. We, I don't know what injection you're talking about. If your mom finds out, she's totally gonna kick your ass. Uh-oh. Aga's mother doesn't hold back when she gives her daughters a kick in the ass. Literally? Oh. I've been kicked too, many times. Like when Aga and I got caught playing tricks. Those kicks are big, heavy, and painful. I, I'm just picturing like a big old, like... Big old, like, stain, uh, stainless steel foot. Like, she just takes it out of the closet and then just, just uses it to kick people with it. It's a dumb thing. Or a big rubber foot. Okay, got it. She'd kick me too for something like this. I say that, but I don't want her to worry unnecessarily. Look. At the notebook. We managed to finish five of them this morning. What? We finished the doggy one? As for pedigree, the idols recognized Agaha and they led us into the garden. Oh. We weren't able to have a ride on his back, but Katari gave pedigree a hug, so we counted that as a success. In the end, it was quite tough for her to row around and play with him. Pedigree probably weighs more than Katori. On top of that, he liked her all over her face. She looked like she was ecstatic. Cafe flags? Cafe flags? What is that? Agha reads out from the list. Where is that? What? Why? Tori, who had suddenly gone red, drew a line through that entry with a red pen. Agha whispers into her ear. Oh, is that a romantic spot? Hmm? 
Something was said to Katori and now she's desperately trying to cover something up. What could it be? It's quite a grown-up cafe. Oh, oh, I see, oh. Hmm, do you want to go there? だから違うって勘違いなの。学校で誰かが話してるのを聞いて美味しそうだなって思っただけで。And then you looked it up online and saw very naughty things. そう、そういう場所とは知らなかったのよ。Oh my gosh, I was right. It is a big naughty place. That kind of place? It's not just a normal cafe. カップル客をターゲットにしてて、店にはそういうお客さんがうじゃうじゃ。ああ。風が裏の若い不女子たちにとっては、デートであそこに行くのが一種のステータスになってるってわけ。うう。はい、let's go. Let's both go. You both will be my women. She's strongly denying it, but it's not like I really have any suspicious sins about it. Oh. Katori had gone red and was looking down. Well, I don't mind. Is that place expensive? Holy, that's a lot. Yeah. For a little piece of cake? Mm. I just go to, uh, you know, go to the local store, get to the small cake for like, like 50 cents or something. Actually, is there a place like that? I would, I would go there. Oh, is this shop the Nico Paro place? <gasps> Will I see myself there with chocolate and vanilla? <gasps> For one cake? I guess it isn't the same place as a supermarket that sells high-grade marble meat for 29.80 yen for 100 grams. For doing the work of the door mother, I can get a small allowance from my mom. So, next month will be okay. だから、違うって言ってんでしょうが。紅茶とケーキが美味しいお店だって素敵なお店だって誰かが言ってるのを聞いたから。別に男の子と。But it's on your list. It must be important because she said it twice. I was overwhelmed by her vigor and nodded without saying anything. As she one sidedly dropped that subject, she used the pen to thoroughly blot out that entry. Might have bled through to the other side of the page. Aoi? What? What? Don't look at me like that. Huh? No, I don't. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't get disappointed about something like that. Besides, did I really look disappointed? Agaha clearly cleared away the lunch boxes and opened a bag of snacks. Ooh. We bought it lot because it felt like we were going on an excursion. Well, I got eat some pretch snacks. What is that? She takes another look at the notebook after Katori had finished blotting it out. Speaking of which, we were in the middle of talking about what to do next. Nee, Agaha was looking at the entry at the number one spot on the list. It is written much bigger than the other entries. I want to pass through the passage of cloud. Yeah, I thought that was quite mysterious too. What is that? I'm gonna assume it's the glider thing where it's go through the clouds. So What do you mean you don't know? You wrote it. 
What do you mean? Mean you don't know? Yeah, I, I just said that, Aoi. Dotte, so they write that no, what does it not even know? Answered Katori while crunching the pretch snacks that Aga had given her. What? Now that she mentions it, the handwriting is different. Hmm. Eat as much Hagen Darch as I want, and so on are written in nice, uniform writing. Compared to the meticulously neat handwriting, I want to pass through the passage of the cloud that was written in a way that seemed bold and spirited. There are a few entries written in this unbridled fashion, and below are the neatly written entries. <gasps> oh, is this Amane's notebook? Maybe? Victoria had added to it, returning from what someone else had written. You found it? What do you mean? Oh. When she says that it's a diary, I feel hesitant to just go ahead and open it. Had Katori read it? Without thinking, Agaha and I both made a face like, why? While Katori remained quiet. I don't think that it's because it would be a shame to waste the unused pages. The thing that I was more concerned with was, I want to pass through the passage of cloud? What is a passage of cloud? If it's clouds we're talking about, I look up. I was about to say that, to look up at the clouds. There's a blue sky and a few clouds and then a giant windmill. The windmill blades moving around, slowly in the wind, look a lot like the wings of a glider. Yay! It's always good to donate blood. That took, that took a whole afternoon. What was that last one? My eyes are still flickering. The last thing we did was complete Lady and Silver Gun. Final entry on the list. What is that? If you're wondering what that is, it's a shoot 'em up game, and until just now, we were at the video game arcade where we finally completed it by repeatedly using continues and taking. Uh. Okay, that was weird. Because it was so hard, it made getting to the ending all the more impressive. Yeah. Sure. I'm not good at shoot 'em ups. The best at this game was Agaha, then Katori. It seemed that Katori had played it from time to time when she skipped school before. She must have gotten mad with the incredible difficulty of the game and said, one day I will complete this game, and added that entry to the notebook, it seems. We had to spend 3,000 yen to complete it. Holy moly. Yay, we did it. We'd also finished the entries that Katori hadn't written while we were at it. The only one left was to pass through the passage of clouds. Since we didn't know what that meant, we had virtually cleared the whole list. I'm glad we finished before dinner. Oh, what's up? No, 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 no. Why'd you look so sad? Tori's expression seems dark. The same as Agaha. It looks like she feels unexpectedly disappointed now that it's all over. Like it wasn't enough. Hopefully, your mom won't find out about this. But Hotaru is quite serious. 
If she realizes that you hadn't gone to school, she might tell your mom, right? What? Don't, don't do that. What? How could you? Are you gonna tell on me? No. He said jokingly and turned to face Katori. She said with a smile and turned to leave. With a spring in her step, she walked up these gentle slopes. Katori wants to say something, so Agaha stopped walking. Katori looked down and faltered as she spoke. This time she looked like she was about to cry. Aww. Aga waited for a little while for Katori to open her mouth. Patiently. However, Katori didn't say anymore. Well, I'm out of time here everybody, but everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give a like and subscribe. That'd be so awesome of you guys. And we'll find out in the next video what she wanted to talk to her about. So, See you guys in the next video, everybody. Goodbye!